I love Cliff Clavin. John Ratzenberg does such an amazing job with the character and episodes like Cliffy's Big Score prove just how fabulous he really is. This is the 16th episode of the fourth season of Cheers, directed, of course, by the wonderful James Burroughs. And there will be spoilers from now as I go through the episode and talk about the key plot points and things that I, I rather enjoyed. And there's not too much going on in this episode. We basically have two parts of the narrative. The first involves Cliff trying to get a date, and the second involves the aftermath. And that's it. That's basically all there is. But there's so much there that we can still carry the narrative forward even if it doesn't seem like a lot is happening because we have a lot of great moments throughout it. And it starts off uh, completely unrelated with Sam getting a phone call from somebody called Karen and he sent her a note with flowers and put the name Barbara on the note. The thought there, of course, is that he has been seeing multiple women and he got the wrong name for the wrong person. And he comes up with this really elaborate way for why he thinks the name Barbara means Karen. And it's it's definitely a journey. And it's very, very well written. So a pretty decent way to start things off. And then the main narrative kicks in. Cliff comes in, announces that he's been uh, awarded Postman of the Year, and he's very excited about this. And initially, he reads out a note to Diane to ask her to go to the ball with him, where he will receive the award. And she says no, because she's busy. And it turns out, as Diane tells Sam, that she can't go because she has her cheese club that night. Now, I love cheese as much as anybody, but I don't think it's a valid excuse for not going with Cliff. And if anybody tried to guess what Diane was doing that night as to why she couldn't go with Cliff, I'd be willing to put good money on the fact that not one person would come up with Diane having her cheese club that night. And while she's telling this to Sam, Cliff has actually decided he's going to try and ask Carla. So he takes Carla into the pool room and it's very rare that we will have just Carla and Cliff in the same scene. And it's, it's quite unusual and I rather enjoyed it. And he starts to offer her money and then a VCR and she's still not going for it. But then he starts to cry and I, I felt really bad for him because everybody's rejecting him and that's that's going to hurt. And finally she decides to do it. She'll go with him and... He says that he's so happy he needs to hug somebody. So she, for $5, she lets him hug her for what must be less than a second. But it's something we've never seen. And it's just such a, a lovely, rare moment of physical interaction between Cliff and Carla. And I, I rather enjoyed it. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, Diane realises that her excuse was pretty lame. So she tells Cliff she will go with him. And Cliff realises that he now has a bit of a problem because he wants to go with Diane because Diane is going to be drop-dead gorgeous. I think it's fair to say he's probably physically attracted to her, whereas he's not physically attracted to Carla. And he doesn't really know how to tell, tell Carla that he wants to go with Diane without Carla causing havoc. So he comes up with a plan and he lies to her and says that actually his friend, a fellow postman, is attracted to Carla because he's been into Cheers before and he's seen her and he finds her attractive. So it would make more sense for her to go to the ball with him and then Cliff will make do and go with Diane. And Carla doesn't really argue this fact, mostly because Cliff really bigs up this other person, but we'll get to that more in a moment. And then pretty quickly after that, Diane walks into Cheers looking drop-dead gorgeous. She looks stunning. Shelley Long is beautiful anyway, but she just looked magnificent. And then Cliff and his friend come in, and this is a character called Lucas, played by Timothy Scott. And again, whatever anybody thought Lucas would be like. I would put money on nobody coming to that conclusion. He barely talks. He looks very different to, I think, what one might expect. And he he certainly is a brilliant character, but because he doesn't really speak much, we don't actually get to know that much about him. And then Carla comes in, and I have to say, she looks beautiful. She's wearing a very, very sparkly dress with a giant brooch, and she looks brilliant. My favourite bit about this part of the episode is Norm's commentary. 
and just Norm passing comment every couple of minutes on something. And it was brilliant. We don't really get a lot of Norm in this episode. So that was a nice way to include him just a little bit. And then after that, it's the end of the ball. So as you can see, things are moving very quickly. I'd say we spend about half of the episode at Cheers and maybe maybe just over half of the episode and then the rest of it is in the car afterwards and Carla and Lucas are getting along very well to put it simply and it's it's definitely an unexpected thing but I think it worked very well it was nice to see that Carla had clearly had a good time and Cliff had had a good time as well but he's kind of a bit I don't want to say jealous of Lucas, but maybe he is. Because I don't think Cliff is necessarily attracted to Carla, but Lucas is getting some action and Cliff says that he chose the wrong person. He kind of muttered it to himself, but Carla heard. She doesn't tell him that she heard and she has some fun with it. And I just think this leads us to one of my favourite moments in Cheers because she tells him that she heard Diane say that she wished Cliff would come on stronger. And she gives Cliff some some bits of advice for how to come on to Diane. And then a few minutes later, Diane comes in uh, into the car and they're all ready to go home. And Cliff stops the car, claiming to have run out of gas. And he, be <laughs> he begins to run his finger up and down Diane's arm. And Shelley Long's face is just the most fantastic thing ever. Diane's facial expression at that point is just incredible. And then Cliff starts to sing to her and Ratzenberger's performance was just amazing. And the, just, the interaction between the two of them, I just absolutely loved. It's almost easy to forget that Lucas and Carline are in the car because they are behind them. Well, they're, they're lying down, put it that way. You can't see them for a lot of this. But I think that worked really well. And the way it ended was pretty fantastic. Uh, I mean, not for Cliff, but Diane was very much in control of things, which I liked because she told Cliff to get out. And then by the, the grace of God, they managed to get gas in the car again. Obviously, the the um, the car hadn't run out of gas. It was just a, a move that Cliff was trying that obviously didn't work. And I like the fact that Carla got to have some fun with Cliff and also apparently Lucas. And Diane didn't let anything get to her. And even though he had a lot of rejection, I think Cliff had a nice time. Cliff got a lot of attention. And Cliff doesn't normally get this kind of attention. And I feel like for Cliff, any attention is good attention. So. I think it, it worked out well for everybody, and I really enjoyed the episode. We have some brilliant performances, particularly, as I said, from Shelley Long and John Ratzenberger, but everybody was brilliant. And it's always strange to spend time away from Cheers. This is something that happens more and more as the seasons go on, but because the characters are, are so strong that even though the show is very much centred around the bar, whenever we're away from it, things are just as brilliant as always because the characters are as brilliant as always and, and the performances are great. And Cliffy's Big Score is a great example of how this works very well. Definitely a solid episode. And while it's probably not one of my favourites from season four, it wouldn't make a top five list. It is, all things considered, pretty fantastic. And I would be very happy to watch it again and again, as I'm sure I will at some point. It's a pretty brilliant episode.